Hey guys, and welcome to another video of COVID Play. Today we're doing is we are playing Roblox Total Wipeout. Uh, this is quite a famous map, I think. I can't really, I don't really know though, but it's one of the most known uh, Total Wipeout maps. I wanted, to, I did, I was planning to do this uh, video a little while ago, but we're going to be doing it now anyway, because previously I had other videos that I wanted to record. So yeah, this one kind of like fell by the wayside, but it's okay. We're here now, and we're going to do it now. Um, obviously, the whole point of it is the Total Wipeout courses. I think there's three courses you navigate way right around. And I think there's the fourth one, the special one at the end. So yeah, hopefully we can win at least one game today. I don't know how many we're able to fit in. Maybe two games, because they do take a while to set up. And like the rounds, obviously you have to wait um, around a little bit. But we'll see about that, because they have updated this game. And I think you can all go at once this time. Like previously it was one person at a time, but I think they've changed that now. Um, I don't really know, but let's find out. I can't remember how you actually... Because like, they did change it majorly on this. And I don't know like what the courses are yet. Because I think... I think some of the courses stayed the same and some of them they changed and obviously some of like the physics they changed but yeah I haven't played this game in ages so I'm used to the old mechanics yeah so you all start at once so this is scary let's see if this actually goes well which I highly doubt now jump and jump the only thing this game is missing is the commentators but there's no way you could do it with the hundreds of people here well the tens of people more like yeah those stairs this thing I don't think I've this thing I've done once, yeah, it just throws you off like that. I hate that thing. That the problem is with that thing, it's not about skill, it's about luck. And I failed that, that's fine. This first qual I know there's better qualifiers than this, whether they still kept them or not, but there are better ones than that. And I like how everyone has just failed, so everyone just goes in the uh, water now. Yeah, this used to be a ladder, there used to be ladders on these things, and then they changed them because it was impossible to get the ladders. So. Let's see, complete a turn. I don't know if that counts as me actually winning it though. I don't know how many people are left. Look at there's two. Are they actually playing the game properly like it's supposed to be intended? I assume so because I didn't thing is I don't know if everyone failed or not. Thing is with loads of people here, it's good because it means it speeds up the rounds, but it's bad because it means you obviously get confused with who else is there. And who's still left? You, you can't go through the wall. I j just letting you know. You, you gotta do it again. I think they fell on the wrong side of the wall or something. They're supposed to be on the other bit. Oh, never mind. There we go. They quit, probably. <laughs> They've either quit or they've done it. I don't know. Okay, so I got fifth. I thought I did a lot worse than that, if I'm honest. Oh, well, we'll see. I remember I've done that qualifier once. You made it. Prepare for the next stage. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, now this one they've kept. And I don't like it. It's easy, but I don't like it. Because often, more often than not, you spawn in on people that have already spawned in. And it flings you across the map, and it's so annoying, unless I've changed it. But yeah, this one annoyed me. And the thing is, what you got to do is you got to take your time. Seems easy, but it's really not when you're rushing around the place. Right. The first bit of this is fucking easy. It's the next bit that's the pain in the ass. It's this bit right now. Because people do that, and then fall immediately off. And then people do that, and he's probably going to fall off. Nearly. Ah, oh, I failed it. See, that's what I mean. You're spawning like that. Thing is, you got to, like, leave it till last second, otherwise it just doesn't work. You have to leave it till last second. You can't go until it gets right there, because you will fall off it. It's just the way the game works. It's like, now. That glitch, but it didn't get me. That. Okay. Now you can start to see why I don't like this one. The only good thing is I'm spawning in every single time the bridge is here, so that's good. There's ten people left, though, so there's an... Okay, nothing hit me there, and I just immediately got flung off again. Oh, this is the worst bit. This, I mean, this is why I don't like this. Because it's so freaking glitchy. Then again, this second stage is boring for any, like, part of this whole game. Because then there's the other one, the actual sweeper one, which I assume they've kept in, because that's, like, the original one. But there's the sweeper one, which is good. It works. But the thing is, people are way too stubborn, and they just wait around on it, rather than actually, like, playing it properly. There we go. If I failed that, then I would have cried. I just don't like it because it's so glitchy and it just spazzes out so much. It's really annoying. But yeah, the other one that's the... I, can't, I think it's called the sweeper. Um, the sweeper one is like... It works, but everyone... Once it gets down to six players, everyone goes through. But it doesn't end until one person's left standing on it. Which means that everyone just stands there trying to be the last person standing and you're not going to make it. Everyone basically just like stands there waiting for something... Like someone else to jump off. And you end up sitting there for like ten minutes waiting for them to um, fall off. Because it's not going to happen. You know what's gonna make it? 
They've got 60 seconds, or 68 seconds left. Yep, yeah, you've gone. Who else is on the thing? Oh, they've gone. Oh, they've gone. Is anyone actually on the thing? No. This what I mean, it's like these bits that are kind of annoying. You look like you're not even walking on the thing. But apparently you are. Yeah, see, it's a bit like this that I might cut out because it's pointless actually watching it. So, and there you go, it's done. Is there supposed to be more than six people? I don't know if this is the six player bit or the, the four player bit. Prepare for the next stage. What is the next stage? Oh, let's sweep in the water. Oh, okay, this one. Now, this one I might be able to do. Because I don't think it's too difficult, but I'm not going to say that. Uh, I probably shouldn't have said that because now I'm probably just going to fail it immediately. But, like, the way it works is the timing is perfect to how you first start the game. Like, if you start the game perfectly and just walk straight, you can get the timing down perfectly. If you fuck it up right at the start, you've basically fucked your entire chances because it runs off time in this, this one. So it's like, you've got to play the time of it like that, and it works perfectly. Like this. This bit is all based on time. And you don't need to time it yourself if you do it all perfectly like that. This bit's easy, not a difficult bit. And then, final bit. But yeah, see? The timing just plays out perfectly with this. There we go, first one, for once. Yeah, that's why everyone can do this round. There's two people left, I think. Oh, no, no, mine's done. Oh, yeah, it's only three, isn't it? Oh, okay, so on the final one. Okay, this actually went quicker than I thought it would. We might get three rounds in them, because we have done seven minutes. And then again, it depends how long this next round goes for. Thing is, the rounds are short. The rounds themselves are pretty short. It's just the waiting around from, like, this next stage, you have to wait until, like, midnight to do it, just for effect. Oh, this is different. When I started up the game, this was um, a different map. Okay. I have done this one before, I think. But like, it loaded up, like previously, it loaded up a different map at the end, and it was I didn't I hadn't done it before. So we'll see about this. I remember that is the most difficult bit there. Hopefully we can do it. And these are like bouncy things that are really confusing to jump on. But we'll give it a go. Now I think we all go at once here, all the three of us. So it's actually scary to see where other people are. But let's try it. And also I think they've made this glitchy as well. They made like the starting bit really glitchy. It used to work perfectly, now it doesn't. So, that's a problem I have to look out for. Hopefully, oh god, yep. Hopefully the map actually changes, like, because sometimes, like I said, the map changed, like, from this time to the last time. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. That's what I hate. I think they've just fallen all the way back there. Are they? See, they got launched all the way over there, I didn't. I don't get that. So that means they're going to indefinitely win now. I just have to hope they can fail it. Even though they probably won't, because I think that person won last time. Yeah, but this thing can glitch you out, and he's gone around the wrong way. Yeah, like that. That thing can just glitch you out, and it's a pain in the ass. There you go. See, this used to not be a problem. But then they immediately made it into a problem. Okay, so the other person's there. Where's the third person? Okay, the... Yeah, I'm going to fail this just because of the starting bit screwed me over. The rest of this is really easy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I failed that just because of the starting bit. Wait, did that guy just fall down? Oh, he's going to get it now because he's going to come up the freaking ramp. God damn it. I got a second. <laughs> See, that's kind of a fail, though. Wait, did I? Did I get first or... Did I get first or second? There's a guy on the poles. I don't know. Like... It used to be so much easier when it was one at a time. Is it, is it, who, who's still playing? Oh, you're still playing? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I must have been second then. But there's... There's multiple people on the thing. I don't get that. I think I was second, because I think I... I think the other person got up the ramp, but I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I got second. Cool. That's not bad. The only problem with this is, obviously, you only can come third, first, second, and third. Um, yeah. Oh, no, they didn't win it last time. Okay. Yeah, if I'd have got that better start, I could have done that. Because they weren't that far ahead of me. Especially because they, like, they just uh, fell off at the last one. I could have had that if they didn't climb up the ramp. God. Okay, so we got the same um, first stage again. I really hope they change the second and the last stage. So I do not want to do the... I don't want to do that double cross thing again. Or I don't want to do that last round again. I want to get the, one of the new ones, though. Thing is, I know you can easily like get a different map if you leave the game and join the game again, but I don't want to do that because obviously that takes ages. 
How have people just written 21 messages in the space of like three seconds? Alright. Jump and jump and jump. Let's see if I can get a better score on this one than I did last time. There we go. I'm already off to a better start than last time. Now, these things I have done once, but I can't remember how you do them. Not like that. thing is, like, they, you don't fall off from getting hit by those things. You get you fall off from just getting hit by, like, you just, you just fall off from just walking. I don't get it. But it's actually kind of quicker just to jump along these things. It really is. Because if you actually have to time it, it takes longer. But just jumping around the water like this is actually quicker than doing it. Which is really weird for this round. Am I going to beat you by a minisecond? Probably not. No, I don't think I did. Oh, well. I definitely, I definitely got in that though, because 11 people were left. So that's good then. Let's spectate on these people that don't know what they're doing. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Come on. 3, 2. You're just sitting in the water. You've got still got a way to go yet. Really? You're the... Wait, you're the one that was in the last round, weren't you? Or are you different? I don't know. I don't recognise your name. Oh, well. That's probably... They're probably going to be in the water for ages now. Wait, are they? Yeah, they don't know what... Stop swimming into the... Can you not see? There's a barrier there. There, there we go. They failed it again. Yeah, there is only 12 places, so why does it keep continuing? I don't get that. It continues after the 12th place, which doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, well. You're murdered. Now for the next one. Can you give us something different, please? Because I don't want to do the same one again. Oh, yes. Sweeper. So this is like the classic one that most people know about. The only problem is, like I said, once you get like down to the six people, people can be very stubborn and just stay on it. You'll see what I mean by that? Because it will happen. Unless I fall off, and then you probably won't see it, because I've got the round out. Oh, one guy's already off. <laughs> so that's one guy down. Oh, I'm first. I don't like this. What? It's better being anything but first on this, because you can tell when other people jump, and then you can time it yourself. Yeah, then this slowly obviously raises higher and higher. I think it's a lot more difficult. Until the point where eventually it just goes over your head. And that's when people just stand here doing nothing. Alright, there goes another one. See, it looks like they go through them, but it glitches a lot in this game. And I don't get that. And I'm probably going to fail these next few ones. You're on. Yeah, I was going to say, come on, you fell off. <laughs> I was going to say, that definitely killed you. See, only one more person needs to go off, and hopefully not me. Someone else go off, please. Come on. Come on, someone but not someone that's not me go off, please. What they should do is when it gets to the six uh, people left, it should just immediately cancel out. Like, because people will stay here. There you go. There, there we go. See, look, all the vans, we're all going. Doesn't matter now. But look, everyone just stays here because they're like, oh, we need to get last standing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump this one and then I'm going to go. Oh. Is anyone going to jump off? Is anyone going to jump off? Two people out, okay. I'll speed up the round. It just speeds up the round, because now there's only three people left. But look, they, they will sit, they will sit and they will stand there for the whole rest of the round just to get the last standing place, which means nothing in the game. Oh, there goes one. That's one of you two then. Is that actually gonna are you actually gonna fail it? Yay, okay. Yeah, plus it means I don't have to worry so much about jumping all the time. So we didn't have to wait for- one time we waited for like six minutes for people to not um, stand there doing that. Like once it gets to the sixth player bit like that, it should just immediately finish the round because it's absolutely pointless. Like last standing means nothing apart from just this one little screen that says you were last standing. And I don't like it. On another note though. Oh no, what is this? This is going to be fun because I don't know what this is. I'm probably going to fail this now then. I don't know how easily failable this is. Yeah, also we're probably not going to get to do a third round in this video, which is probably understandable. I, I didn't, I knew we were going to do two or three rounds. I was just hoping it, we get more than one. Okay, so it's just a jump thing, but the platform moves back as well, okay. Okay. Okay, that person's gone. We need one person to go. What? Can someone else please fall off? Because I don't want to fail this, even though it probably will be me. I'm assuming this is going to get really fucking fast. Oh, never mind. We all did it. Yeah, is it going to finish now? Oh, we go. That's easy. <laughs> See, why doesn't that one have a last standing mode? I mean, yes, it's good because it doesn't, but why doesn't it? Yeah, oh, man. What's that mean? Like, the that that sweeper thing should have that same mechanic, where the second it gets there, it should just go, done. 
because there's no point for it. We actually finished this round quite quickly. Then again, that that one there was really quick. Um, ah, we got the same one again. You can see what I mean, how it does change, though. Right, can I please get launched normally this time? Rather than just falling out of it halfway through? There is sometimes when you can get stuck up there and it just doesn't move whatsoever. You're doomed at that point. Oh, man. <laughs> that, that has happened to me a couple of times before, and I don't like it. One, twenty-two, twenty-three, 23, and... Bloop. Yeah, yeah, we know what we're doing. We did this map before. I want to have a go at the other map. I don't even know what the other map is. I just saw a brief second of it before I started the video. Come on, let's play the game and hopefully not get fucking glitched in the floor again. I think I'm against different people this time, but I can't remember. Can't remember. Don't know who's with me. Oh, one person might be the same. And go. Yay! Okay, I'm just in the water again now. Go on, go up. There we go. Okay, I'm assuming I'm ahead then, because I can't see anyone else. I'm glitching up this ramp. Okay. Right, can I not get stuck in the floor here, please? I did it. I got flung up into the air, but I did it. Right. There we go. That's a gate start. Now, hopefully I can do this normally. If I fail one bit, it's probably going to be that last jump, but we'll see. This bit I shouldn't fail at, because it's not that difficult. It's just slow moving things that we have to jump across. Here we go. Now this is probably the most difficult one. Who's behind me? I don't I don't see anyone. This is scary. That means they're either ahead of me or right behind me. I haven't heard the splashing of water yet. So I'm assuming I'm ahead. Ah, oh, I failed that. Hopefully they're gonna fail it too, or they're far enough behind me so that I can just do this. Come on. Okay, they oh nearly. That person nearly got me. Where's the other two? Okay, he's right at the start. He's doing what I was doing. And you actually managed to do it. Well played to you. So then... Oh, last guy is there. I think it's going to time out before he can do this. Because I think you have like 90 seconds. It's either 90 seconds or 120 seconds you get before it times out. So we'll see about that. But I believe if you, like, if you just leave it, by default you get a 90 second uh, thing. And then you'll be in most likely third place unless someone else managed to fail it worse. Yeah, he's. What's happening to him is exactly the same as me. Okay, it automatically just timed out. There we go. Like I said. He did it. Yay! Is he going to be teleported over here? No, he quit the game. <laughs> Brilliant. That doesn't feel like a great victory. See, look, 72. Oh, he wasn't. They wasn't that far behind me. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. There we go. So, wait, why can't I move? Okay, no reason. Right. See, so, yeah, this probably going to be the end now. Um, like I said, I only got to fit two of the things in. But yeah, um, that's kind of the way it works because each round was like 10 minutes basically. Um, I don't know if I'll do another video of this because there's not really much point because obviously you've seen basically the whole gist of the game. So yeah, next video will be whatever video it comes up with. That's now and thank you very much for watching and see you later. Goodbye.